We're asked to evaluate the indefinite integral. Looking at the integrand function, notice how we have an x outside the square root as well as an x under the square root, which means we are going to have to perform u substitution in order to integrate, but we'll have to perform a special type of u substitution. Let's first let u equal the radicand of x minus 2. So if we let u equal x minus 2, differential u is equal to the derivative of x minus 2 times dx. The derivative of x minus 2 is 1, 1 times dx is dx. So du is equal to dx. Notice right now, we don't have enough information to write the entire integral in terms of u because of this extra factor of x outside the square root. So what we're gonna do now is solve u equals x minus 2 for x by adding 2 to both sides, which gives us x is equal to u plus 2. And now we can write the original integral in terms of u. We have the integral of 6 times x, where x is equal to u plus 2, and then times the square root of the quantity x minus 2, which is the square root of u, the square root of u is equal to u to the 1 half. And then finally, dx is equal to du. Let's go ahead and rewrite this as the integral of 6 u to the 1 half times the quantity u plus 2, and I will distribute 6 u to the 1 half. 6 u to the 1 half times u to the first is equal to 6 u to the 3 halves, since 1 half plus 1 is 3 halves, and then we have plus 6 u to the 1 half times 2 is 12 u to the 1 half. And now we integrate with respect to u, which gives us 6 times u to the power of 3 halves plus 1, which is 5 halves. So we have u to the 5 halves divided by 5 halves, which is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of 2 fifths. And then plus 12 times u to the power of 1 half plus 1, which is 3 halves, divided by 3 halves, which is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal of 2 thirds. And then of course we have plus c. And now let's go ahead and multiply and simplify if we can. Here nothing simplifies. We have 12 fifths u to the 5 halves. Here we have a common factor of 3. There's 1, 3, and 3, and 4, 3's, and 12, giving us plus 8 u to the 3 halves plus c, which means in terms of x, the antiderivative is 12 fifths times the quantity x minus 2 to the 5 halves plus 8 times the quantity x minus 2 raised to the power of 3 halves plus c. I hope you found this helpful.